Hey YouTube, iPod Touch for Life 165 here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can jailbreak the newest 7.1.1, 7.1.2 firmwares on any device. This includes all of the iPhones from the 4S, the 4, the 5, the 5S, the 5C, all of the iPads starting from the second generation all the way up to the iPad Air, um, and the newest iPod Touches, of course. Pretty much any device that supports this firmware. So to quickly show you that I am on this firmware, I'm going to open up iTunes and I'll be using my iPad for this one. And as you can see here, I'm on iOS 7.1.2. Uh, while we're in iTunes, it is worth mentioning that you should probably back up your iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch now. It's not necessary, but you know, it's a precaution in case something happens and we need to restore our device. Um, then, you know, it's good to have a backup because we can get it right back to where it was before we tried to jailbreak. So that'd be right here, obviously, backup now. Uh, and yeah, that's that guys. So the prerequisites you're going to need for this process, the jailbreaking process, uh, you're going to need obviously a device and running a firmware that this supports. Again, that's like the 7.1, etc. Uh, firmwares. You're also going to need the uh, latest version of iTunes. You can get that from iTunes.com. Um, this makes it the most error free if you just have the latest version of iTunes because it supports the latest jailbreaking software. Uh, and then also you're going to need the software that we're going to be using to jailbreak. Um, this uh, software is called Pangu version 1.1. The link to that software is going to be in the video description. Just click on it. It's a mirror. Just download that. Um, that's pretty much all you need. I'm going to close out of iTunes right now. And there's one last thing on your device. Um, before the jailbreaking process, just go into settings and make sure uh, under general and then date and time in the settings that your time is set automatically. We're going to be using this function later, so we just want to make sure it starts out at this setting, set automatically. So that's all we need to get started on the jailbreak process. We're going to make sure we're connected via USB, like I am here. And now we're going to open up Pangu version 1.1. Click Run. And here the software is just loading. It's going to say what device we have and what firmware we're on. So as you can see there, it says iPad 4th generation with version 7.1.2. And straight away, we're going to click jailbreak, the big black button. Of course, we're just going to make sure that um, we're connected via USB and all that good stuff and click jailbreak. So now here's what I was talking about before, how there's a slight process. The computer gives us some directions here on what to do. I'm going to take you through that right now. So you're going to go back to settings. You're going to be in your general and you're going to be in date and time. And we're going to switch off set automatically here. And we're going to click on the little time thing on the date. And we need to set the date to June 2nd. So this might seem a little bit weird because uh, you're wondering why this is happening. This is just what uh, the device needs to do to enable the jailbreaking software to access its file system. So just make sure that's Monday, June 2nd. Uh, and then the screen will change um, on, the, on my computer screen as you can see and it's proceeding with the jailbreak. We can go back to the home screen and just continue letting the software do what it's doing. Alright, so now once we see this message on the computer screen, please tap the Pangu icon on your device to continue. We're going to find the Pangu app. It's right here at the bottom on my second page. We're going to click on it, and it's going to give me this message here whether we want to continue or quit. You want to click continue. And now just leave this application open. Do not touch your iPad. Leave that app open. And of course, the computer screen is changing itself. It's recognized that I've opened up the Pangu application, and it's proceeding with the jailbreak process. So this is a pretty quick process. It's not like um, it's there's been faster ones before, like the 3.1 firmware. I remember jailbreakme.com. Uh, but again, this whole process should take you at least under 15 minutes, or at, I mean at most uh, 15 minutes. 
is just doing its last stuff, probably installing Cydia, the installer device that we will be using to download all the tweaks and themes that we're jailbreaking for. So right now it's rebooting my device. Again, make sure you do not disconnect your device or disconnect as Pangu tells us. I think the software was originally written in Japanese and the latest update of the software supports uh, English. So you know, there might be errors here and there. No worries. Alright, so we see my iPad booting up, nice big Apple logo. And that's pretty much the end of the software, uh, I mean end of the process guys. Uh, the software tells us reboot completed, unlike, oh shoot, my bad. Uh, waiting for response, please make sure your device is not password protected. At this stage, if your um, software starts to like gray out and like act up, don't worry about it. It's just waiting for your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch to reboot so it can recognize it. So we're going to unlock it, enter my password. And if we move over, oh, oops, all right. If we move over, it's going gonna, it's gonna to say clean up on the computer and then done. And now my iPad is going to reboot one more time or respring one more time, I think. We'll close out of the software on the computer once my iPad fully boots up, although I think it's done with its work now. Yeah. And my iPad is rebooting for one final time. When it reboots, we should have the Cydia app installer. Oh, I didn't mention before, guys, this is an untethered jailbreak. So, um, you know, it's going to reboot and boot normally. No problems there. We need to connect it to the computer. Some of you might have no idea what I'm talking about. That's fine. Just know that your device will work absolutely the same as it did before the jailbreak. And there we go, guys. We have the Cydia app installer. We can open it up, start, you know, adding sources, adding tweaks, themes, apps, all that good stuff that hopefully a lot of you have heard of. Um, of course, if you want help uh, getting new tweaks and cool things, you know, just check out my videos before this. I have a lot of cool stuff up there on stuff you can do after you jailbreak. And uh, stay tuned because uh, I'll be continuing lots of new videos on some tweaks you can do once you jailbreak so that you can make the most out of this process that you just underwent. Thank you guys for watching. You know, if you found it helpful, you know, it helps me if you like and comment, do all that good stuff, just interact with the video. Um, and uh, other than that, guys, thank you for watching, and I uh, will see you in the next video.